Anyway, this is my first little video uh, for a while because uh, <laughs> I spent the last few months basically coming to realize how how deep this thing really is and how stuck I was getting with some very subtle but very obvious concepts. Basically, the way it feels like for me is kind of getting to comfort levels, comfort zones. So I would kind of delve into myself and have these these experiences come up, you know, kind of like there'd be a moment when the eye disappears and there'd be bliss, for instance, or, you know, a feeling of there'd be a feeling of home and then there'd be a subtle reclaiming of that, you know, it's kind of like there's there's that like all is one, it's home but something kind of comes in and says that, you know, oh yeah, all is one and I'm home or if it uses more non-dual speak, it says this is home or there is only home or whatever but basically Jeff Foster talks a lot about this or he did at one point Basically, I, I had to remind myself that this had happened, that, that the awakening had happened. So all of my thought was still, you know, I was talking about this stuff with people, and in the back of my head there's still this, this naggingness about, has it happened or not, you know, ha am I really awake or what? And then using thought as a, a means of gauging that. I mean, this is beingness. This is about being what we are directly, <laughs> without without uh, any need for thought. But I was using thought as my measuring stick for this whole thing the whole time. Like, I had this event happen in August, which was basically a glimpse last August, over a year ago, and I'm, and I'm referencing that, I'd be referencing that as something relevant to this moment, you know? Like, oh, because of way back in August, after my retreat, when I really got serious and I had this awakening, or this awakening happened, and I dropped away and there was only oneness, that was a split-second event. And then, Subtly, there was a a bizarre claiming of that and a and a building of a platform, even though so many other spiritual teachers I feel are talking from that platform of kind of a an initial glimpse or even a big experience that seems to go on for a while, and then like for me, what it felt like was sort of a falling back into some old patterns and back into identification. So feeling as though there's a discrepancy now, it's like, oh, there was this big event and I am that and all that fun stuff. And then there is a, a refusal on my part as an ego, you know, so it's, I, I preferred being my old self and, and having the awakening as well. So it's kind of like wanting my cake and eating it, wanting to have my cake and eat it too. So it's like, oh, this awakening is here. I've had this awakening, or this awakening has happened here, depending on how non-dual I feel that day, or who I'm trying to impress. Which of course came in a lot as, as that egoic mechanism got stronger again. I can't remember what I was trying to say. Basically, there is a... Yeah, so I wanted to keep all my ego stuff and have the awakening. Ego stuff, for me, is, is indulgence and suffering. Justifying pain and suffering in, in this organism. So that would include stuff like judgment, fear, anxiety, depression, self-pity, all of which came up somehow, even though there's that awakening. And the issue being, I wasn't being. <laughs> I, I was thinking, you know. 
thinking about the awakening, thinking about teaching it, thinking about how it's really happened and other people have had it, maybe more or less than me, and thinking about how my life is going to get better soon, because it kind of sucks now because I'm thinking about myself, you know? And, and just that blind spot, having that huge blind spot, and not, lis not listening to that higher power, you know, that divine benevolence. You know, just the same old, the same old stuff. You see, it's all, it's all these little false reference points that happen with this, with this uh, search and the finding of it. The finding is false. <laughs> it's crazy. The finding of this is just more, more of the dream. It's just more of the game. The awakening is just more dream. You know, it's, it's all false. It's all, it's all bullshit, really. It, beingness is real and all, all my stuff you know all of my stuff about what this is and what it isn't and how I'm there and how I know I'm there and how yesterday I had the awakening and now it's stabilizing more and more and I can feel it percolating in and it's really happening for me and it has happened for me and all this it's not quite happened for all of you or it's happened for a few of you maybe but not not quite everyone. All totally ignoring the true peace and happiness and fulfillment of the self, of the beingness that we are. In favor of, yeah, just in favor of bolstering my myself, my full self, you know, my conceptual structure. I wanted to really feed into it and be awake. It seems like you can't, you, it seems like we can't have it both ways. We can't really... Th there's some kind of mutually exclusive thing happening here. It's and it's hard to really describe it, but it's basically beingness, the being, the true self is uncompromising in its... in its seeing. It's almost vicious in, it, in its love. Its love doesn't allow anything to go unnoticed, to sort of, what do you, what would you say, to, to escape. There's nothing that can escape this. But my, my awakening was my means to escape, especially the body, to escape the physical body that I, I loathed so much. You know, I'm not the body, so I'm going to be awake over here <laughs> or somewhere else and not be awake onto this human experience because it's um, painful to be in a body. It's painful to be a human being. But we're human beings. <laughs> we are, I mean, what are you gonna do? This is, this is what we are right now. But my whole awakening thing was to try to dissociate from the whole human drama and experience and this and whatever. And to be honest, it is a very tiresome sort of experience after a while, you know, this human life. But it seems like we might as well just settle into it and accept it. Because the being that we are is, is so all-inclusive anyway, it's so beyond, it's beyond any one thing, so it's beyond this body and it's beyond this mind. So it's it's not a problem to include it, it's not a problem to include this uh, beingness as well. Or rather this body in the beingness, as the beingness. So uh, yeah, basically the thing I, I kept receiving during all my inquiring was just keep going, don't stop. Don't stop at a at anything. Being, you know, is infinite. It's not. It's not a stopping point. So that's kind of the sense. Like, keep going. Keep delving into this. Keep being. You know, don't start indulging thinking. Keep being. Be on. <laughs> Thank you.
Uh, apparently we're still here. Anyway, much love and... Much love.